to this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel welcome back to the Aravaki campaign for Total War Room 2 Hannibal at the Gates in the previous episode we finally wiped out the Lusitani we took their land Olisipo and we have now a good kingdom developing for ourselves we have half of Galicia Galicia we have two-thirds of Celtiberia and we have all of Lusitania I'm looking to try and take out the Oratani next. If I can take some of their lands, we'll have most of Iberia under our control. So, they have lands here in Kartuba and in Libisoa. Now, I'm thinking perhaps one army, which I'm building up here over here in three turns time, can probably go to Libisoa. But I think this army here can march to the border and can perhaps try and take out Cartuba. So, without further ado, I shall end the turn and we'll see how this campaign develops. Let's go through the end turn phase now. Oh, and the Oratani are offering a defensive alliance. So, I don't want this. They're at war with Carthage. I'm glad about that because it keeps Carthage off my back and they're acting as a buffer right now. But I want Oratanian land, so reject this. And edict issued in Lusitania, I've read in games. Look at our food, 23 for food, looking pretty good. I want my spy to now march towards car 2 before me. Just do a little bit of scouting, see what's going on over here. Oh, what's of this? The Oratani got a la an army in force march. That's good to know. Kartuba can't tell what the uh, uh, thing is. Libisoa is 11 garrisoned in Libisoa. Got quite a bit of money now as well, plus 4,000. Nice to know that we got a fairly big army. This army is nearly fully replenished. One more turn. Could wait at the border, but I want to move in now and start to worry them. A Bora, what can we level up here? We have a bronze workshop, we could go for a bronze forge. That gives us garrison of swordsmen, skirmishers and an Iberian scorpion. Sounds interesting. Could be handy in this campaign to have one here in Helmantica. So, do I go for it? Yeah, why not? Let's live a little. Let's live a little. So we have fields in both these provinces. I'm not worried about them at the moment. This army is being built. Take me a few turns, what we got. Uh Skutari spearmen have gone for. We've got some cavalry on the way. A couple more slingers, I think. Should do the trick there. I do have a general in the north, but I want to keep him there for the time being. And I'm just trying to think. It was something that I was meaning to do. Mm, I think it's to clear war. Let's just double check my province up here. No, tol, tol, toletum. I can't pronounce it properly. Toletum. Can I have another family member? I think I can. Let's just double check. Yes, I can have one more army, so I'm, I'm going to raise a force here. Let's see. Plus, plus uh, minus 14 tribal chiefs. Minus 21. <laughs> minus 14. Oh god. I hate this uh, diplomacy in this game. I'm going to go with Akutios, and we're going to raise an army. He's going to be on horseback. The Steeds of pain. nope, I don't like that name, let's go for the Terrors of Tolotum. How about that? That sounds slightly better, doesn't it? We're going to put him into Tolotum right now, and we're going to recruit. To begin with, we just want to go for some cheap units, so we'll get three units of spearmen, we'll upgrade my general as well and we're all out of money this turn but Tolotum will be a bit more defended in case they counteract me and go north I think I'll probably wait this turn just so I can get my spy into Kartuba before I declare war so I'll end turn once more we can then see what happens I 
I actually, I, I, I now remember what I wanted to look at. It was the victory conditions. So we'll look, do it there in, in a second. So research complete. Now we're searching batter and ram. That's good for me. Population surplus in Galicia. So we'll check that out in a second as well. Motiva motivated populace. Okay, so first things first, let's get over to Galicia. Ooh, it's all raining up here. And we can expand. So I'm going to expand the city and we can build a quarry, an artisan's lodgings, sacred enclosure or enclosed land. Now the enclosed land would be good for the food. Artisan's lodgings, uh, don't really need that at the moment. I don't think a quarry might be beneficial because I get more wealth. Public order is pretty good in this province anyway, so I'm going to go with the quarry. So this will be a law master set and a quarry all in Lugos. Zoom down here. Get my spy across here to Kartuba. Let's see what they have. So Kartuba has nine, only a garrison of nine, plus a standing army of nine. They're only swordsmen and slingers, so we can take them out pretty easily, I think. So without further ado, it's time for war. So the Oratani, who we are already trading with, Welcome, cancel our treaty and cancel that treaty. Any treaty shortly after saying it is because natural treachery and is condemned by all factions. Turn remaining five. Oh no. Can I wait? Can I afford to wait five turns? Well, I've broken a treaty with them, so they might declare war on declare war on me. So I'm going to cancel that for now. We still have our. S I wonder. No, they wouldn't join the confederation with me. Ooh. Can any of these join in the same blood? It would be nice if they could. Nope, not interested. What about these? Nope, no one's interested. Okay, it's worth checking. So we've broken the non-aggression pact. It said five turns. Now I could continue to upgrade, I suppose. So we need two more men in this large army. So we have loads of swordsmen, one unit of scutari, a couple of spearmen. Probably could do with the cavalry, I think we're short on. So we'll get two units of Iberian cavalry for this army. They'll both be recruited in, recruited in two turns time. That's okay by me. This army in Ebora is currently recruiting some men as well. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 15. I'm happy to have that as a backup army. And then we have a third army in Tolotum. Currently have three spearmen and a general. We want to get some swordsmen. So we get three swordsmen and another unit of spearmen. And we'll end turn. Gonna play the waiting game, so I'm gonna skip through some of these end turns pretty quickly just to try and speed up the campaign a little bit try and get a battle in if possible <laughs> they now want a non-aggression pact again see what I mean they wanted a defensive alliance now they want this non-aggression pact I say no just reject them simple as that they need me more than I need them I think that's what it comes down to they're worried about this war with Carthage Carthage, of course, is only over by here. Saguntum. Oop, zoomed in quite a bit. One more turn for that army. And we could do with a ballista. So, two units of ballista. And we want some slingers. So, we get three slingers. And another unit of spears. A few more turns for that army. Then we can march in. This army's ready to go, I think. Well, in one turn it will be ready to go. This army is going to be ready in a turn as well. So, end turn again quickly, guys. I do apologise about this, but I don't want to make any blunders at this point of the campaign. Because if I if I was to rush in in there, break my pact, lose my relations with other factions. Ooh, look at this. Our treasury's got a reward of seven thousand five hundred. Excellent. Objective issued. Completely control the following six provinces either by direct ownership or through military allies. Hispania, Ulteria, Tertidania, Lusitania, Hispania, Citeria, Galicia and Celtibera. Okay. That reminds me, I want to look at my objective, so have a quick look. So we, we own Lusitania, we have part of Galicia and part of Celtiberia. 
Yeah, I think we'll probably do this by conquer. I think we'll probably do that mission. Ultimate objectives, we own all of that. Maintain 100, I've got 55 already, so we're well on our way to achieving our goals in this campaign. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to do a military or economical victory. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm probably just going to see how the campaign goes. See how we do. Oh, and not, the population isn't too happy with us, with us at the moment. So what can we do to cheer them up? Plus food. Public squalor. Nope. Public, uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. Need some more technology, I think. Remove them out. Minus ten, my god. Don't want to do that, do we? Well, it's going to be worth it in the end, so we'll bring them to the border as well. But they... I'm sure a borer can sit without me for one or two turns. Got plenty of money to spend, although I don't think I need to spend it at the moment. Let's go to this army up here. Two turns for the spearmen, and I want cavalry to don't die, so let's go and get three units of cavalry. And I think that army is good to go in three turns' time. So I think we can probably end turn once more. Didn't spend any money at all. I probably could start spending some more money around my provinces. And one of the things I do like with oh, the Cantabri want trade. That's interesting. Would be handy. Who are they at war with? The Asturias, which are, are completely engulfing them. And they're right by us in Galicia. And they are allied with the Vascones, which would benefit me because they're in the north and I wanted to take that land anyway. Counter offer, I think. Ugh. What to go with? I could go with a non aggression pack, which they're high with. That's good. What about. I don't think they're same blood, are they? Let's see. Drawing Confederation, I will offer you a lot of money. Oh, they would for that much. Right. Let's. Uh, I got mine to, to to burn at the moment. Okay, 2,202 isn't good enough. Let's go for 3,700. It's still low. However, 4,440 4, is still low. Uh, let's go for 5,180. Moderate. Do I risk it, guys? Do I risk it? Shit. But it's nice knowing that I can take that province without bloodshed, so... I will look into that in a second. Okay, let's do my technology first. Let's go for something civil. Let's go for... Wealth from agriculture. That'll do. Suits me. Diplomacy. Right, where were they? Up here, Cantabri. You can join the confederation with me. And I want to offer you... That's a moderate, so 5,100 is what we offered last time, I think. What about 5,950? No, they still wouldn't do it. What about... 6, 1... Oh, 6,800 plus Strong Confederation. Yes! Look at that! Portus Amanum is ours. I am sneaky. S so sneaky. Right, so... A new province is ours, without bloodshed. Portus Amanum. This is going to help us in the north. We do have a ship as well, which is nice. So let's get the ship in there. We now have two uh, settlements in Galatia. We have a quarry as well, which I can upgrade to a stone quarry, which gives me a bit more... Well, it gives me the same wealth, but it gives me more wealth generated by slaves and industry, which is going to be handy for us in Lugos. We have a fishing village. We have a barbarian village horse pens and a shrine of NATO so I'm happy with that and that means that we can push on now from Portus Amanum, Numantia and Lugos and take these final two settlements to take the full province so that's nice to know and in the south now down here how many turns did I say until we can start breaking our pact two more turns remaining guys so war will be among us shortly so we have 15 units there. Have a couple here. Let's upgrade these units' armor as well. So 20 and 15 I'm happy with. 
probably overkill with the recruitment, but I just want to be sure if it turns out that I've got a spare army here, I can send them north and try and take those northern provinces in the future. So we'll end turn again. I'm going to quickly fly through this now. Don't know if I'll have time to get a battle into this episode, but I'll definitely get one in the next one. As long as I can build this one up to to the war, which I'm trying to plan with the Oritani. And event messages. Okay, we've got some just double check. So same blood, who is the Asturias is the same blood. They probably wouldn't they're quite strong. No, I didn't expect that. And then the Oritani. <laughs> Funnily enough, they are same blood as well. It, it would have been quite funny if they would have for that money. No, I didn't think they would. And I think they're the only two left. Oh, the Vascones as well. But they won't because they don't like us. But the Vascones uh, are at war with that northern, northern tribe up there. So there's nothing to worry about. One more turn for the cavalry and then we can start throwing everything into, into my enemy. <laughs> End turn and then we'll wage our war. I don't want to delay it too long in case Carthage is able to take some of these lands off them. The whole reason why I'm taking my time with this campaign and I'm taking my time with the diplomacy... Oh my god, look at this bullshit. Could counter the rumours, cost me a bit of money mind. I, I may as well because I haven't really done that for a while. Stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. We're the Elder Chiefs, aren't we? So we want to secure promotion as well. There we go. Why not, isn't it? Why not? Can we do it for other ones? Yeah, we can. Just secure prom promotion for these. I'm not too sure if um, it really affects it like the Grand Campaign does. Right, now I can end my trade agreement with this faction. There you go. Now they're a little bit displeased with us, I think. Yes, they're not too happy with us. Now we are going to declare war. And war has begun. So first things first, let's get this army across. Let's get them as far as they can go. With the secondary army only going halfway. And they're going to fortify them. That way I know i got a backup army in case. So we have two blisters here, two blisters here, a much bigger army than this one. Two big armies nonetheless to head for Kartuba. My spy is spying of course and actually they're on minus 98 and in two turns time they're going to rebel so it'll be interesting to see how things go in the Oratani lands it looks like they're wide open they must be over here fighting Carthage and this army now can actually just waltz straight in I think from Tolitum we're gonna go straight for Libo Libisoa so there we go the war is heating up plenty of action to look forward to in the future episodes once again i do apologize for not having a battle in this part but i promise there will be one in the next part as always i hope you all enjoyed i've been dragonheart until next time goodbye